Hello, everybody, and this is Michael. And uh, in this video, we will are talking about uh, one ultra low power Bluetooth chip. This one, um, we have a project about the Bluetooth, and we need the low lowest power one, and we have to do lots of research and study. And we decided to uh, use this chip uh, for our project. Okay, um, so let's take a look. The first thing, let's take a look at the power consumption. And uh, we compare lots of uh, Bluetooth from different companies. So this is a major three of, it, of them. So the first one is the dialogue and uh, DA14585 okay so this is uh, receive uh, Karen Karen's 3.7 million this is uh, mm, transmitted the uh, um, Karen's 3.4 million so you can uh, we used to use lots of Bluetooth chip from TI and uh, both um, the first thing is all of them for Bluetooth 5 okay the so Bluetooth 5 is the latest um, Bluetooth protocol uh, it has four times uh, distance than the Bluetooth 4.2 and it has double data rate than the old one okay so we choose all of the bluetooth 5 chip from the uh, different bluetooth company so this is compare you can see very clearly and this one is the best one um, for the pow power consumption okay so except this we also uh, it also has uh, some other features like this and we can um, take a look at the data sheet okay so this is the uh, um, brief data sheet from the dialogue for this chip okay so first one so the, the power supply is the power supply range is from at 0 0.9 to 3.6 well so this is a uh, very uh, useful for our design and uh, and uh, if you let's take a look here so this is a uh, uh, button um, battery so this is a button battery you can see this the power supply is like uh, um, 3 volt the coin the coin so you can use this as a power supply for your um, Bluetooth project the most interesting is you can use single of it you can see here this is 1.5 1.5 you can use a single this kind of battery as your uh, power supply for your uh, Bluetooth project and uh, so uh, previously we only have a choice like use 3 wall as uh, our um, power supply because it can not lower than uh, 1.5 and it not it cannot like this this range okay and uh, now we have more choice and uh, we can design more uh, interesting project a smaller pro smaller smaller product okay and this is the first one the second one it has two audio interface PCM and PDM okay let's continue to take a look the uh, the data sheet okay so you can hear you can see here okay this is the data sheet. the first thing is has it is an arm kernel arm kernel CPU okay so it has we have very interesting things this is the PCM audio interface and the PDM audio interface so it means you can uh, connect one PDM 
micro microphone or PCM microphone to the Bluetooth uh, chip. And uh, uh, sometimes you can uh, also integrate a, a audio chip uh, here for the I I2S interface. Okay, so this is uh, interesting. The other thing is a four channel DMA. Okay, four channel DMA is here. This is four channel DMA. It means you can uh, running the four different uh, uh, interface through the DMA and without the uh, CPU inter interrupter. Okay, so it's 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 kind of it's kind of like of the um, parallel running parallel running the uh, control the devices peripheral okay um, the first thing is this RAN okay you you can see here the RAN they divided into four different section okay the four different section so this is very interesting so you can keep one of them uh, when you power off the system, when you go to sleep, you can just uh, keep several of them, and uh, and uh, uh, so in order to save the power, and uh, you can um, uh, optimize the devices or to or your system into the minimal power consumption. Okay, so. Um, This is an uh, internal uh, 32k hertz uh, crystal. Okay, let's take a look here. So this is uh, internal. Uh, this uh, this internal uh, crystal can minimize the PCB board design. So um, usually we really we will need a two crystal. Is one is here. So it's like a 16 megahertz. Another one is uh, 32 k hertz. So this one will to use uh, for the sleeping mode. So uh, if it has uh, uh, internal crystal, you can save this. No need to use this and save and use the internal one. So you can uh, cost down and also. Uh, keep the PCB board as as small as possible. Okay, that chip is a very interesting feature. They have the keyboard controller. Okay, so this is a keyboard controller. The keyboard controller, uh, it can create a keyboard matrix very easily, and 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 all the software demands. And all the software uh, in the normal way, we design uh, we de we design a key key matrix. You need uh, um, you need the uh, judgment uh, depends of the key, but it integrate all the hardware. What you need to do is just uh, read and write the register. You will you will uh, get the key value. And another thing is you can, and you can push, and pr you can press the different key at the same time, and make a combined key press. So it uh, can give some um, uh, new future for your uh, project and for your devices. It's very uh, interesting. It's all hardware handle the keyboard function okay another one is SWD debugger and if, if you uh, if you uh, have played with the arm and then you will know the SWD debugger is very convenient it's only need the uh, clock and IO uh, for the debugging of course we need added the power and ground so uh, the debug interface is very simple and efficient. Okay. Uh, the last one is uh, uh, chip size. 
it is the port, it is the smallest one I chip currently. Let's take a look at the uh, chip size. So this is uh, a very very small and uh, and the 2.4 millimeter and uh, by the 2.66 millimeter and uh, this means you can design the uh, 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 chip as small uh, devices as small as possible and uh, uh, you can see it supports the Bluetooth 5 and there is lots of uh, other features for these devices and uh, uh, we are thinking uh, if some if more people are interested we will make a, a, a study board and uh, to produce some uh, lessons for it and uh, video for education purpose okay okay uh, this is for this video I'm Michael